Final topic, we're going to be talking about the 2020 NFL Draft and the Chicago Bears and if they should take a quarterback with their picks. They have six picks right now. They have their second, fifth, sixth, and seventh. They also have a second rounder from the Khalil Mack trade and a sixth rounder that could become a fifth rounder in the Jordan Howard trade. We will look at probably, you know, well, I'll throw out 15 names. You guys obviously give the ones that you're interested in. Uh, Brian Lewerke, quarterback out of Michigan State. Sam Ellinger out of Texas. James Morgan out of FIU. Khalil Tate out of Arizona. Nate Stanley out of Iowa. CJ uh, KJ, KJ Costello from Stanford. Jordan Love out of Utah State. Stephen Montez out of Colorado. Kellen Mond out of Texas A&M. Former UCLA guy? He, tr- he transferred, right? Didn't he Mond- did. Kellen Mond was... Um, Texas Tech. Okay, Tech. Yeah, I want to say. Okay. Or not Texas Tech. Tech. He's, A&M. He's A&M, A&M right now, but I thought he transferred. No. Oh, from? Mississippi State. Mississippi State. Okay. There we go. Because he was there before Jimbo. Yeah, yeah. Calamon was a, a, a guy that I thought was a transfer. But yeah, mm-hmm. currently at Texas A&M. Uh, Jamie Newman from Wake Forest. Joe Burrow from LSU. Hmm. Uh, Jacob Eason out of Jim Washington. Bowles. Jake Fromm from Georgia. Uh, also, uh, Easton obviously Travis are from Georgia because of from uh, Tua Tungavailoa, who we'll talk about uh, because of his injury out of Alabama, and then Justin Herbert from Oregon. So it looks like Burrow will be the first quarterback taken this year. Um, Justin Herbert likely going to be a first rounder as well. From possibly a first rounder. Ricky, I'm going to go to you first because you're mm-hmm. more of the, uh, the 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 NFL draft guy. Yeah. Um, which guys will be available in the second round? Because which guys can we cross off? Pretty so much. Because guy- I, I I personally don't think the Bears have enough ammo to trade up to get a a, a Burrow to get mm-hmm. a, a a Herbert. Maybe they could trade up to get a a you know a high a late first rounder. But which guys can we pretty much write off? So let's do this first. Okay. Burrow and right. Herbert are off the board. That's, That's what we're looking okay. for. Yeah, no, cool. no, no. Thanks uh, for answering the question. I, I'm answering we the got, question. Yeah, we got no, an answer we, question. Yeah. So, Burrow and right Herbert. There. Tell us up there. Nice job, big guy. Her, bur, her, oh, yeah. <laughs> Burrow and Herbert are off the board for sure. Uh, First thing I want to throw out there. What do you think the possibility of? We'll just get through it right away so we don't have to tease it. Three letters. Tua. I am. And here's the thing. Here's why. Tua's injury. He's not going to be throwing until right before the draft. So is there a possibility? I know right now most mocks still have him in the top five, in the top ten. Is there a possibility if he falls down to, let's say, 15, do the Bears package their two seconds together to move up for Tua? I've seen mock drafts that don't even have him in the first round. And I would almost do the same because of the type of in- like oh, when, give me a- when the injury okay. happened and Dave was like, oh, it's the same one that Bo Jackson had that ended his career. I was um, like, oh, that's here, not that was right. Like, here, 40 that was years ago. 30 years ago. Okay. And also I've heard that it's it's way better okay. than the Bo Jackson injury. Okay. Um, but, but oh like, my God. Do you oh really God, think oh there's oh a God. possibility that he falls out of the first here, round? Here's what I want to say. Here's what I want to say. Mm-hmm. I, I don't know because I don't know how much teams are mm-hmm. writing him off. But if he's available at 31 or 32, trade both second rounders and go out and get mm-hmm. them. This is what you need. And here's the thing. Here's the reason why. Because you still have Mitch Trubisky for one more year. And I don't want to see Mitch Trubisky play. You can but, just let but Tua you could get have, healthy. You could have Tua rest, whatever. Like, burn a year. I don't care. You can get Tua Tunga Vailoa. Mm-hmm. And this guy. Talk about him for three years. Talk about him for three years as the first round pick. And he's a lefty. This is my porn. Like, oh my God. <laughs> This is incredible. <laughs> this is exactly what I've wanted the only for thing years. That, the only thing that could be different is if he was as silky as uh, Tom Brady. No, Tua is Tua was a different monster. <laughs> okay. I love him. I love him. I love him. Oh, man. If, if you're telling me that you could have gotten this kid, <laughs> if you told me that the Bears could have gotten him before this uh, year, I would have been thrilled. And you're getting him for two seconds? That is something that you need to do as a good GM. And, and here's the thing. Just so you know, the 32nd pick got traded last when Lamar Jackson got drafted, oh, I know. Oh, I know. And all it was the Baltimore, the Eagles, all they had, had him. Well, and all they had to do was Baltimore gave up a second and a fourth and a future second for a first and a fourth. So the Bears could technically give up a second, give up a fourth. We don't have a fourth. Give up or give a the, fifth or a third or yeah. a future. Give up two picks and yeah. then a future pick next year, and they could keep the same value, one of their seconds. Here's and what, here's what you do. Sean's going to hyperventilate and here, and here's what you do. No, no, here's what you do. Here's what you do, because I've thought about this. Of course he has. You get Tua, mm-hmm. right? You get Tua. Oh, you get Tua. You get Tua. You get Tua. You trade up. I don't care. You get Tua. And then you pull a little Kirk Cousins move. 
take a little shot in the sixth round, take a little shot in the seventh round, take a little uh-huh. shot in some of these later rounds. You go out and get Nate Stanley out of Iowa. This kid's got a cannon. This guy. This, this, kid, this guy. This kid's got a cannon. He's not that mobile. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You shorten his uh, his delivery because he's got a pretty long. He winds. He, he, oh, he, he goes d- down back. Yep. You you shorten that delivery. This kid works hard enough. Kid 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 gets up. Let's say two his injury is pretty bad. Nate Stanley. There you go. Take two guys. Why not? You got picks. You got picks. We don't got that many picks. You got picks though. If we're trading up for Tua, we're gonna have like but, three but, picks. But in the thing draft. is, the thing is, I don't care about the three picks. You need to fix the offensive line. We yep. know that. Yep. You need to. Find a second corner because Prince of Mukamaro is going to be a free agent. Also, he's like 30. He hasn't been playing bad, but yeah. uh, you need to f- figure that out. Um, Danny Trevathan is going to be a free agent, but also I kind of like Nick Kwiatkowski. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't like I him? don't. I don't. Why not? He can't pass coverage, but he's f- yeah, say that's... Inc- but he's incredible in the run. Yeah. He he closes on run really well. He's really I'll, I'll he's, give you that. I think he, I, th- I think that's a guy that like is is very feasible. Okay. I think I don't think he's a killer on a defense. Okay. If he's your I worst, feel like pl- he opens up the middle of our field too much. If, if that's my only concern. If he well, here's the two two games that he's played in. I against the Vikings, I didn't really see that. Well, it's the Vikings against so... against the Rams. I really didn't see that. They, they only beat him deep because of Eddie Jackson. Yeah. Um, and then with uh, the other game was uh, the game Trevathan got hurt in was the Lions game, and I don't remember anything massive being hurt. I just remember Kyle Fuller being ass. So I haven't seen him be exposed too badly in the pl- play okay. game. So If you're cool with him, that's fine. I, if he's the worst defender on a team, I don't think you have an issue. Okay. You know, if he's one, if he's the 11th best guy out there on gotcha. your defense or the 11th worst guy, uh, I would say that, you know, it's a pretty good defense. So I think that the offensive line needs to be addressed absolutely. Quarterback is the most important position, though, in the NFL. Getting Tua and getting Nate Stanley mm-hmm. or getting one of these later guys, absolutely huge for this team. And that's how you can at least mortgage your future because you'll have Mitch, you'll have Tua, you'll mm-hmm. have Nate Stanley, three quarterbacks that are young that you can see everything you got. At worst, Mitch is a backup and he's a backup to Tua. Because otherwise, if Tua is not available, I think if I'm the Bears, I'm taking my first pick in the second round and I'm taking a quarterback. Oh, absolutely. Because And then it just becomes down to... The next guy I would bring up is the, this. Uh, I think we can all agree, mm-hmm. and disagree with me. If, if the Bears' first pick isn't, it, if one of their seconds mm-hmm. is not used towards a quarterback, we quit. You have an issue. Yes. Right. Exactly. Okay. So we all think that mm-hmm. the, one of their second round picks is going to be used on a quarterback. Yep. I don't care if it's their first one because if it's if they're taking the best offensive line on the board and it's a guy that could have been a first rounder, I don't sure. really care about Values that. Values there. Mm-hmm. Go for um, it. You know, maybe you know, quarterbacks. There could be your guy that you like. I don't trust Ryan Pace to pick a quarterback. So that's a different, yeah, issue, different issue. But at least picking a quarterback, one needs to be done in the second round. Yeah, the guy I would pick, and this is the guy I was going to bring up second, <laughs> is, bless you, is Jalen Hurts. And the reason mm-hmm. why I was going to bring him up is yes. he is a anomaly right now. He is an enigma in the draft world because some sites like Tankathon have him in the third round. Mel and Todd on ESPN – don't think he's a first round guy. I see some. Maybe I'm like drinking the Jalen Hurts Kool Aid. Maybe I'm smoking too much reefer that I don't even smoke. I think this guy's a first round talent. Like I think he's a definite first round guy. Yep. So if he's there at the second round for the Bears, I think he would be an easy pick for the Bears with either of their he's second, sturdy. probably their first one. He's sturdy and he looks like he's learned and his. And Drugs. coming up the Bulls segment, what were we talking about? Work ethic. He's a gamer. This guy's got it. This He's guy's got the work ethic and the drive to get better. Hurts, I like his ability to work in different spots. Mm-hmm. I like his leadership. I do like that. Um, I just don't know if he's an NFL QB. That's the thing that worries mm-hmm. me. Because, like, you, yes, he's doing very well in Oklahoma. And he did very well in Alabama. Yes, he did. You were in two of the best situations didn't, possibly get. Didn't we talented. think a little bit similarly about Baker and Kyler, though? To not degrees. Kyler. Kyler was fine with me. Well, Kyler's, Kyler's big enough, thing was, like, oh, he's small. School. He's going to get and destroyed. Ba- da, 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 da. I didn't think that. Did I? I'm just saying. That was the, 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 big, was the big talking points. Is he's a smaller quarterback, and he's not big like the, the other the guys. The thing with and, Baker that I agreed with was I was I was questioning his leadership, but I think mm-hmm. I got over that once it came to draft time. I think I was just really, like, I was just, I didn't like Baker. So that's yeah, why I didn't because like Because of his predecessor? Yeah, I, the, and I like, the, I like, croc, the you know, crotch grab I thought, and stuff I thought like Darnold that. was going to, no, I didn't really like him. I just didn't like him. I don't okay. know. He just rubbed me the wrong way. Um but I, I, you know, I like Josh I think Rosen better. Benzel's I like Josh, Josh Rosen better. I like Darnold better because I think they were probably less riskier. So that's mm-hmm. why I liked yeah. him. 
Baker was risky, but I, I, I think right now you could say that he paid off. I also like Lamar Jackson. He was risky, but also he's mm. really talented. I yeah. love um, Lamar Jackson. So you can make the argument that Hurts is still talented, which he is. Yep. Um, I just don't know if I, – I, I think there's some risk in there. But you're And he's, he's also with the best offensive mind mm-hmm. and also the best head coach, and Nick Saban and then also Lincoln Riley. Yeah. So it's not like he's had bad coaching. But mm-hmm. the, and, yeah. and if he's going to go into a Matt Nagy team, mm-hmm. I, have, I, I worry. I guess that's, that's questionable, but like I think that he's shown in this past, you know, at least you know, 10, 12 weeks, mm-hmm. whatever, that he's got the arm that people doubted to begin with. The fact that he has more of an arm than we had seen at Alabama. The, there's some trust there that had been built up. He can make some good throws. He knows how to read defenses. Like, I think that you're working with a much different project. Had, had I not seen this year, I would mm-hmm. laugh at the idea of Jalen Hurts going yeah. first, second, third round. I'm like, yeah, what the, the kid who can only pull it down and run it and like make dump off passes? No. Mm-hmm. But we've gotten to see him in an offense where he can succeed. And it's like, oh shit, this guy can be a weapon. Especially out there. during that Baylor comeback. Oh my God. This guy can absolutely sling it. And that's what that's what gives me hope. That's why I would I'm with you. If he's available mm-hmm. in the second round and two is not, he would be my he'd be my backup guy. Cause because other than that, you're making like after those two progressions, yeah. you're then making your pick between Jacob Eason and Jake Fromm. Like yeah. that and and that right there, those two right now for me are the two early well, to tell. Those are going to be the two I dissect heavily here's, once the season's here's, over. And here's coming back to what I, why I liked Rosen and, and uh, what's his face? Uh, Rosen and uh, Darnold. Darnold. Was cause they, they, just, they seem more like NFL quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, which I, I want to explain because yeah. like, the more I think about it, like, am I, it sounds a little racist. I just, I want to say, and this is now, then it's like, oh, mm-hmm. I have black mm-hmm. friends. Uh, I like Lamar Jackson. <laughs> so it's like, I'm, not, I'm just saying, like, like, I, I think like, I don't my, my immediate anymore. thought, no, my immediate <laughs> thought is like, like, oh, there's risk with Jalen Hurts. But you yeah. guys bring up great points, which mm-hmm. can make me absolutely wrong. And the reason why I like Fromm and, 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 and Easton is because, you know, Fromm's got the big arm. He's, yeah. You know, he's, he's, he's got the ability to throw. I like a Easton little bit of reg- a regression. I like sure. Easton because he's a Washington player. <laughs> so, like, I, I, I'm not going to write off the fact that mm-hmm. Jalen Hurts wouldn't be a choice for them. Yeah. So I don't want to blast any of it. You're just talking about a you're just talking about quarterbacks, and mm-hmm. I like them all better than Mitch Trubisky. So if they That's take the Jalen Hurts, <laughs> if they take J- Jake Fromm, if they take Jacob Eason, if they take um, Tua, I don't care. Mm-hmm. Take somebody. That's yeah. the, I think this is all this is coming down to. That's why I'm not a huge fan of this 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 thing because it's just like if mm-hmm. you draft somebody, I don't care who it is. Mm-hmm. And do you think there's one of these guys who works better with Matt Nagy's offense than the other? I guy? don't know what Matt Nagy's offense is. Do you? Should Matt Nagy be around for the new quarterback? I don't know. I think he's done a good job holding the locker room, but also he spouts bullshit left and right. I don't know what he's talking about half the time. He gives a lot of filler answer. It seems like the locker room likes him mainly because, you know, they've been at least not falling apart, but is that like that big of an accomplishment? I'm iffy on Matt Nagy. I don't know what Matt Nagy's offense is. I look is. back at last if, year for if, what Matt Nagy's offense could be. Yeah. Uh, that's my point of reference. Even then, was it that good? It was pretty good. I think it was pretty was good, it? and we thought at the time had a it run was game. limited. It, it's being able to use the run game to set up passes, to be able to use guys who are not traditional better uh, wide receivers or running backs and use them as offensive weapons. There, There's a way to get the guys, the ball in the guys' yeah. hands who can create. I would just say, like, I mean, I know, like, I don't think Lincoln Riley is going to leave Oklahoma, but, like, if you hired Lincoln Riley. Oh, my God. And, then, would... you, and then you drafted Jalen Hurts. Yeah. Zero issues here. No, that would be that would be the dream. I'm think. good, and that's funny. Sounds good to me that we're turning that quick on Matt Nagy, but like, I'd be a hundred percent in on. I'm that. turning quickly on him because his team, I think, has scored maybe 17 points per game. Yeah, there's an issue. Mm-hmm. He's worse than Mark Trestman when it comes to his offense, and he's supposed to be the offensive. You mean genius. the seven step well, drop of Mark Trestman doesn't you know give you faith when we had like one and a half offensive linemen? No, I mean, I, God, like, I hated. <laughs> what are they the te- He's and, the and, and Tampa Matt, Bay uh, XFL head Matt coach. Matt Nagy has had a worse offense statistically when you compare it to the league that they were in mm-hmm. yeah. than Mark Trestman, mm-hmm. than John Fox. Well, Trestman had Lovey a better Smith. quarterback. All those guys had a better quarterback. Jay Cutler is the best quarterback in If Bears you're an history. offensive genius, you should st- still be better than Mark Trestman. Jim McMahon? Yes, okay. over Jim McMahon. Did they just ask if Jim McMahon's better than Jay, Jay Cutler? Super Bowl. <laughs> that not there was fifty two other the guys. Most dominant team in the NFL. Yeah, they were the second best team in the in uh, in NFL top one hundred. And, and I, I don't would think they talked about Jim McMahon. And I would argue first because yeah, of the they fact that the we Dolphins won. Didn't give up points. Oh. I get the Dolphins didn't lose a game, but like yeah. we didn't give up points. 
Yeah, just saying. gave up thirty to Marino. But like that's a that's the only game. Like if you look yeah. at that season, well, the, the, and the difference and the reason why is because the forty six defense can be beaten by a passing team, and then you have like what the fifth greatest quarterback of all time. time? Yeah, I think you lost by three in that game or ten. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I don't. I forget what it was. I was just—I don't remember the score. I wasn't born. No, uh, I get that. I'm just—I think it's funny. We born. both three <laughs> or just ten. Instant rant back and forth. Like, all right, you want to talk about the '85 Bears? It's way better. <laughs> uh, they yeah. also had um the greatest running back of all time. So <laughs> it's tough cool. to be a bad quarterback when you have a great and a players. an amazing fullback who could also play defense, or a guy who played defense. Yeah, it was a defensive yeah. tackle who ran <laughs> once, and you just remember it because it was a super well highlight. Ran more than yeah. once, but yeah. Did he just had the Niner game port- first? What's up? Didn't didn't they do it in the Niner game <laughs> first? <laughs> this is then... not 85 Bears stuff. Let's just get back on track. Here, <laughs> when was McMahon drafted? <sighs> um, I quit. I think that it taking is, shots yeah. at, at a quarterback is most important. So right. take two shots. Mm-hmm. I don't care if you take Eason you, you and don't then think another it matters. quarterback. You don't think don't the quarterback think... or the coach matters as far as these quarterbacks are concerned. You can oh, put them in a bowl, does. shake it up, and just. It absolutely does. So um, which one? What? Which one? Which one of these quarterbacks works best with? Matt Nagy, if he stays. I already answered. I don't know what Matt Nagy's offense is, so I have no idea. I can't answer that question. So it doesn't matter. I can put him in a bowl and take yeah. him like I'm going to say, say <laughs> Jalen Hurts. It does, I think it does yeah. matter which, which quarterback you put Hurts in there. because his mobility, his ability to— But here's the thing. they Mitch 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 Trubisky's best ability is, is his, his mobility, mobility, and they yeah. have taken that away. Yep. They but don't want if, him to run. I don't know if they took it away or he took it away. I think that— What no, if he was told not to run? He said in during the season, or uh, during the beginning of the season— they wanted Mitch to throw more. They wanted yep. him to throw more. Mm-hmm. So they don't want a mobile quarterback for some reason. So that's why it hurts, scares me. So mm-hmm. then Fromm's the guy you're looking at? Traditional. He's got a ton of experience. Fromm and Eason, but I would probably but go Fromm it's over so Eason. It's so stupid because they like when Mitch makes plays with his legs. <laughs> I don't know what they want. You yeah. can't figure out with this team. Mm-hmm. So I think just take the kid with the most talent because I don't think Nagy and Pace are going to be there next year or yeah. at some point. I think at some point they're going to be fired to take the most talented kid that's going to work with anybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I, I would take the kid that can work his ass off, that can you know throw the ball decently, that has some you know you know either great accuracy, a great arm, or mobility. Take someone with a great X factor, whoever that may be. That's a thing. That's why I would love if Tua fell because that Maybe kid's got out. Yeah, he's, he's got, got accuracy. He's got throwing power. He has the ability to look off defenders, which I didn't know was possible in college. Mitch Trubisky didn't. Um, yep. And mobility. <laughs> so I would I would love all of that. The injury yeah. risk is there, but that's why you take two quarterbacks this mm-hmm. draft because you need to take quarterback every single year. That's what Bill Belichick did. There was a great article by SB Nation that showed like all the draft value that they used the the, the uh, Bears have used and all the stuff. And this is before Tom Brady. Mm-hmm. So every after uh, every quarterback that they've taken after Tom Brady, uh, they have used uh, under a 1,000 pick value spent uh, on quarterbacks, and they've thrown over 40,000 yards in their career. That's more than the Bears, and the Bears have spent four times more on a quarterback. That's more than the Minnesota uh, uh, Vikings, and that's they've spent two and a half more on quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. Buffalo spent four and a half more. Carolina spent 4.2 more. Houston spent five times more. Arizona spent 6.7 times more. Tennessee spent 7.1 more, and Cleveland spent 7.2 more. And Scouting the, the, and coaching and, matter. And the, yeah. and, the, and the Patriots have – taking quarterbacks matters. Well, they've I'm, missed on QBs. They've missed on Ryan Mallett. Mm-hmm. They've just taken a ton. Yeah. It doesn't matter. They've taken Brissett. They've taken mm-hmm. Garoppolo. It points that they didn't need to. Hoy, they've, they're counting Hoyer in this, but they also just Matt Castle. picked up a, 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 a young quarterback that was undrafted that at least could run an offense. Matt Castle. Like – Sign some young fucking quarterbacks. We don't need Chase Daniel. Take mm-hmm. some guys that can possibly beat someone if the guy that you did take a shot on in Mitch Trubisky at three doesn't work out. All right. Wasn't it technically at two because you traded up for him? Oh, God. <laughs> so that's my point. <laughs> this guy keeps track. Take two quarterbacks. I don't care who you want. I do because I You still guys like to... Hurts, though? I hurts. I just like hurts just overall. And he seems like a really good person. Yet again. Which, but that, the... that was like the Deshaun Watson thing. Maybe mm-hmm. I shouldn't be scared by the big well, name. Maybe I shouldn't be scared by you know his results his, mo- his mobility. And that's the, the thing oh. we should be predicting: which one is Ryan Pace going to fall in love with? Because it's all that matters. Who's got he's the not least? Gonna, Eason. He's Who not going to no look track at, record. He's not going to look at anything else. He's just going to Eason and then boom. He's going to pick Eason because he has no track record. He works hard. He probably drives his grandma's car, and he's going to be the worst out of Hertz from and and Pace is going to go work Eason. out with him, and there's going to be some sap story like that. And Pace is going to fall in love. Yikes. 
All right. I think that's <laughs> it. that sums up our uh, thoughts on the Bears. I wish, we could, Bears. I, I wish we could get Ryan Pace on the phone, you know. Maybe to, maybe to in a him... couple months we can get Ryan Pace on the phone yeah. closer to draft time. I think that'd be good. Ryan Pace, you're watching. I know you are. <laughs> Sean's like, Sean, I, I started him out so high. You, you, you so want to send low. us off, Ricky? Because I don't think Sean's got any positive words left. I, I still got words. <laughs> positive words. You said positive. Okay, Sean here, just, I'll keep it positive Sean just you. reminded me of that guy who was drunk at the bar. All right, I think Tony's done. I'll tell you when I'm done. I got here's, one more, man. Here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. And this is this was said by the great Terry Bores to a caller. And he said, I got a lot of words for you. And Terry, and Terry said this, and I'll keep it positive for you. I have two words for you, too. The first word, I can't say. The second word is you. And that's to Ryan Pace. <laughs> I'm so sick of him. Come out and fucking talk about your damn team. Talk about the mistakes that you made with mm-hmm. Mitch Trubisky. Quit giving a f- talk. Defend your team. Help out your team. Matt Nagy's fucking drowning. Each and every time he steps to the fucking podium. I think Matt Nagy's a really nice guy, and Ryan Pace seems like chicken shit. I'll be completely honest. You could say the same thing about the Bulls. So the here's, b- Gar Pax is no, letting Boylan drown or hang Gar, himself, no, however no. you want to look Gar, at it. Gar, Gar, Gar hides. John yeah, Paxson yeah. is talking. Okay. John, I haven't I, heard anything about John. Like, I haven't seen any no, John Pax. John's before. talked. John okay. is very available to the media. Okay. Yeah. John's talked. I'm not, I, the Bulls do it okay. right. The Cubs do it right. The White Sox do it right. Stan mm-hmm. Bowman does it right. The Bears just do it wrong. The Bears, Ryan Pace does it okay. wrong. That's the issue. God, I hate this team. That's why I want them <laughs> to take two, because if you miss twice, you still at least try twice. Just yeah. try. Honestly, use all six picks on quarterbacks. You throw, I don't care. Throw enough shit at the wall, something's going to stick, right? Thank you. Hopefully, God, it wouldn't in Chicago. It would all just turn into a shitstorm, and Lake Michigan would turn into shit. <laughs> Send us home, Sean. I don't care what quarterback. If we got Tua, I'd scream and I'd buy a Tungle Vailo uh, jersey. And if it's Hurts, I'd hope he, I hope the best. Would you for buy Jared a Hurts jersey? No, because okay. I, I just like Tua. Oh, okay. He's where's 13? He's a lefty. Like that's Would mean. you actually get it to I say Tungle Viola or would you be that custom jersey guy that says just Tua? No, Tungle okay. Viola is okay. his last name. That's what's on the jersey. Right. Um but yeah, no. Plus, I've, could you imagine that in a my, hardcore my, Chicago accent? My, my <laughs> Tungle Vi- Viola. Oh, no, because they're not gonna pronounce half those letters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's 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 the real challenge. If we did draft him, I think, him, I think, would, I think they would just say Tua, <laughs> <laughs> and I think they'd probably say Tuna. Because <laughs> they, they like Tuna, tuna, guy. That tuna like, kid. They like throwing in ends. Yep, uh, that Trubinsky. In that tuna, the Trubinsky. That, that tuna. McCown. That yeah. Tuna. McGowan. Got to um, put the S at the end too. Yeah. So I. Tunas. <laughs> uh, I would say the quarterback that I want is Tua. Mm. The guy that I don't want is probably the guy that Ryan Pace wants. Which is Jacob Eason. I don't know who it is. Okay. But I, I don't care. Take a mm-hmm. quarterback. That Those tongue are violin done. guy. There's I all good things. There's also a good chance that Ryan Pace goes, nope, we made the right decision. And then if he doubles down and goes like, O-line, O-line. Sucks, so it'd probably be like, yeah, I'd take that Hawaiian guy. <laughs> or hey, who's that kid from Alabama. And then he'd get drafted and be like, yeah, that Alabama kid, he's won you a Super Bowl. <laughs> Sir, his name is Tua Tungavailoa. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below. Who should the uh, the Bears take at quarterback? Mm. Cam. Um, <laughs> Cam. End it how we start. Let us know your thoughts down in the comments below uh, which quarterbacks the Bears should take. But for Ricky Wimmer, that's Dave Oster. I'm Sean Anderson. We'll see you next time.